Welcome to Dave's Shop, I'm Dave. On today's episode, we're going to be doing something just a little different. I have a birdhouse that I made last year. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to see the birds inside as the eggs hatch and as the babies grow. Over the past few weeks, I put together the ESP32K module with a solar panel and some 3D printed parts and came up with a device. Follow along and I'll show you how I installed it. Okay, so I purchased all my items from Amazon and I got the ESP32 camera as shown here. Next up, I purchased some 18650 batteries, rechargeable. I got the 9900 milliamp hours. I got a couple of battery holders as well. I found a solar panel which would give me what I needed, 5 volts, 6 watts, so I purchased one of them. I also bought a package of 5 pieces of the micro USB lithium boards. This is what we'll use to create the circuit as shown in the diagram here. And then I printed a 3D box to put the components in. And here you see I'm starting to wire it up soldered a couple of the pieces together and then assembled it in the box and put it on the birdhouse. I also uh, printed up a little hood to go over the opening so that it'll keep the wrens out and only the chickadees will come in. Next up I cut the brackets on my CNC for the solar panel. I wanted to make it like a universal joint so this is part of it with the screws ready to go to make it uh, the existing piece that will go with it tilt. And here it is assembled with the solar panel installed. And then I figured out based on where I lived what the uh, angle it should be at. So we got it adjusted here and as you can see in the picture I've got it set to about 40 degrees. Okay, so I went to Thingiverse and downloaded the Wi-Fi cam that you see here and brought it into the slicer program. And once it was in here, we sliced it and then I saved it and printed it out. I didn't show any printing being done, but uh, those of you that have done it before know what we do. And uh, anyways, that's what it looks like and I just printed it in, in white PLA and there you have it okay with the camera web server sketch loaded up in your adrenal software you make sure you have the right camera selected in this case it's an AI thinker and then you want to go down and input the correct SSID for your network. And once you have that in, then change the X's here and put in your password. And once you have that all done, you can go back up to the top and you'll be able to upload it to your camera module. And then you'll be able to test it out and validate that it's working or not.
Now that the camera is installed, we can go to the web page and view the image. Here you can see inside the bird house. You can also toggle the settings by going up to the top left, clicking on that menu, and you can change the camera to a different image size. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger. I usually uh, just leave it at VGA. Quality's pretty decent there. You can make other adjustments if you want, but I haven't really played around a lot of settings. The only one that I really am interested in is the LED intensity. You can increase it from zero, which is off, to 255, which is the brightest it can be. And that way, uh, if the image is dark, you can uh, turn some light on and see what's going on inside. You can also uh, get a still picture by clicking this, and it'll save it to the computer. And the start and stop stream will uh, show you live images. And that's uh, pretty much it. So the next thing now, we just got to wait for some birds to come in and get a nest going. Well, there you go. Something a little bit different. Not something I do every day. But it was a little bit of a challenge. Now that it's mounted up, hopefully we'll see the birds arrive lay some eggs, and hatch the babies. Thanks for watching along. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.